Welcome to the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors and sponsored by Paychex, one of the leading providers of HR, payroll, retirement, and software solutions for businesses of all sizes. My name is Steve Bose. Falling birth rates and the potential impact on national economic prospects. Declining fertility rates are set to cause significant and transformative demographic shifts over the next 25 years, with important implications for the global economy, according to a recently released new study. By 2050, birth rates in three quarters of countries are forecast to fall below the population replacement birth rate of 2.1 babies per female, research published in the UK's The Lancet Medical Journal has found. That would leave 49 countries, primarily in low-income regions of sub-Saharan Africa and Asia, responsible for the majority of new births in the near future. By 2100, just six countries are expected to have population-replacing birth rates. These are the African nations of Chad, Niger, Tonga, and the Pacific Islands of Samoa and Tonga, and Central Asia's Tajikistan. Those shifts in the demographic landscape will have profound social, economic, environmental, and geopolitical impacts, the report authors also stated. Shrinking workforces in advanced economies will require significant political and fiscal intervention, even as advances in technology provide some support. As the workforce declines, the total size of the economy will tend to decline even if output per worker stays the same. In the absence of more liberal migration policies, these nations will face many challenges, said one of the lead authors of the report. Artificial intelligence and robotics may diminish the economic impact of declining workforces, but some sectors such as housing would continue to be strongly affected, the report also states. This report highlights a divergence between high-income countries where birth rates are steadily falling and low-income countries where birth rates continue to rise. From 1950 to 2021, the global total fertility rate, or the average number of babies born to a woman, fell by more than half, from 4.8 to 2.2, as many countries grew wealthier and fewer babies were born. The trend was influenced by major societal shifts, such as an increase in female workforce participation, and political measures including China's one-child policy in effect from 1979 to 2015. Already many advanced economies have fertility weights well below the population replacement rate of 2.1. By the middle of the century, that category is set to include major economies like China and India, and with South Korea's birth rate ranking as the lowest globally at 0.82. The implications of the overall decline in birth rates and the shifts to where most new births are happening are not yet clear, but it is clear that in many advanced countries like Japan, South Korea, and several European countries, economies will be put to the test by having fewer numbers of workers supporting increasing numbers of retirees. These countries and others will be challenged to consider how to adapt to meet these changes through more supportive structures for childcare more flexible workplaces that allow workers time and space to manage caregiving, changes in work design to allow more older workers to remain in the workforce, and even changes in immigration policies to shore up shortages in the domestic labor forces are among these measures. It is a significant and important long-term economic and demographic issue that we will continue to follow here on the HR Happy Hour Media Network. That's it for the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors.